just let him recover. He when he hit your ass, you couldn't like come back with nothing. I know, I know, I know, but I still hit my bet. I put in Iggy last minute for the fantasy score, and I still hit. I know I was going against it. I know, I know. But I peeped what he did. He basically let him lunge in because what he noticed from the last fight, or maybe the last, last, last fight, <laughs> that when he started hitting you, he don't stop. And he leave his face open. So why not cover up and just wait for that right connection, which he got in the last fight. He was connecting him good, and he could you could tell he hurt him. But it's just when he when he was when he when he'll recuperate, he'll get Iggy right back. So Iggy kind of like loaded up and like came out with everything. So you know. It happens, man. Um, it was real nice. He he did a, he, he obviously studied him, bro, to 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 beat him. I mean, it had to be it had to be technique. He couldn't just go in there and ah, like he was never gonna ever beat that dude, bro. So I feel like from now on, Iggy could beat him. Like if they fight again, Iggy will beat him just because he got them all figured out, unless. And that's why I love boxing, MMA, uh, combat sports. There's always a what if, but um, and a but. But uh, let's jump into it. Let's see what he's talking about. Let's see what he's saying after the win. Uh, we not gonna make it run the whole video, but you know, cause I don't know, bro. I I honestly think dude could still beat him. So, it's still like a 50-50, still. So, let, let's see what he's talking about, man. And who is not afraid of the spotlight, not afraid of the camera, not afraid of challenges, man. And you met one tonight. You put it all on the line. I, I was so impressed all week, man. You didn't shy away from the fact that there's a lot of pressure. Everything's on this one. I'm rolling the dice. I'll live with the results. And now you're living with that's, that's a heck of a result, man. How do you feel? That's honestly, man, what I said right after the fight. Listen. <laughs> I wanted that what I said right after the fight when I, I meant that from the bottom of my heart like people don't understand in your day-to-day -day life you go through adversity you go through you know demons that you have to overcome yourself and a lot of fighters like Rashad DC they've been through this they were talking about it on screen like having to get over that but I put that pressure on myself this camp I put that that that, that, that demon on my back because I was like this is that to get over and I don't get I keep saying oh well if you beat him once still three and Three, one. Huh. Yeah, three minus one is two, and that's two times. <laughs> UFC middleweight champion. Nah, nah, you gotta fight him again, bro. You gotta fight him again, bro. You, you just got to. Know. Can you talk a little bit more, Izzy, about the demon? Because I feel like all of us, we watched, you know, the thrill and agony back, backstage scenes of your last fight, and we're like, man, this guy's handling it really, really, really that's well. Life, that's life, life. I've been through so much in my life, man. One day, you guys will see glimpses of it when I put it out there on the screen. You know, but I've been through worst, worst things in my life. He's been through worst things in his life. You know, so not, I don't, you've never seen me, not once, even when I got in the UFC, on my Instagram bio, UFC fighter, or UFC middleweight, or when I became champion, UFC, because I don't, I don't live and die by this. This is just one aspect of my life. This is, this is forever, but it's one aspect of my life. I look forward to other things out of life. So this is not everything to me. It's everything right now, but I, in the grand scheme of things, you know, this is not everything to me, but right now tonight it's everything well i know you're not attached to any singular result and i know you don't fight for money but you did win a performance bonus so your bankroll's a little bit fatter with that Good. but you seem to have an edge <laughs> ah, what else they gonna talk a about drive and a focus to you this week that was even heightened from come the on great man champion. talk about We've what, what you did how yeah, do you how like you got I the said, win I, bro i know i've hacked my body i've hacked my mind i've hacked my spirit i've done things this week 
that I learned a lot about myself. I learned how to, I learned how to raise my testosterone, even with just with my mind. I'll give those details later on on Freestyle Banner on YouTube. Check it out, maybe. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I've learned so much about myself. Standing in front of the mirror, dancing with the shadow self. A lot of people like to shy away from the shadow self. They don't want to dive into that. But I learned to stand in and own it because it's part of me. You know, a lot of people try and say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm such a, you know, you're not virtuous, you're not innocent. You, you, everyone, there's no good or bad people. People are just capable of great good or great evil. And tonight I had to get to that dark side and show them the evil side of me. Get to the dark side so I can show them the light. And he saw the light. He went towards the light. Uh, that that moment where you landed the big shots against the fence. What do you think enables that? Is that your fight IQ? Is that experience? Is that just <laughs> big champions rise in special <laughs> moments? What, yeah. what do you think is the single greatest thing that just Great. led to? I was like, I'm fed already. Mom spaghetti is nervous, bro. Huh. Eight mile moment. Yeah. I told y'all, you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. And man, when it was my shot, I landed that. Man, I did it again. Boom. And I see him hit the ground. And I thought about George Foreman versus Ali. Because Engage, my fight wear brand, just signed with um, the Ali Foundation. And something in my head prior to this fight was like, if I have that moment, should I hold back like Ali did with George Foreman, the phantom punch? But I was like, nah, he wouldn't do the same to me. So I sent that from heaven. Huh. I <laughs> landed on his head. I, I think that's to. a I fair assessment. To. Yeah. So you had a great energy when you went back to Eugene Behrman at the end of round one. You said it went quickly. Yeah, a yeah great round one was just like boom. Right. I think it was, uh, what's his name, um, Teddy Atlas. Uh, uh, that speech came up on my gram a few times on Twitter this week, you know, with him and um, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember his name now. It was talking about firemen. And what firemen is like, if you stay focused, the rounds go by. So round one, I was like, is that it? Right. Mm. I was focused. Uh, bro, my mantras this week was all, man, self-affirmations like positive self affirmations my PSAs was on this week my positive self talk I told you I know how to hack my mind body and spirit man and there's more ways there's levels to the there's levels to the now I just hit another level yeah I mean I do want to ask you what is that just the biggest adjustment did you feel like when you left the arena in November that I know exactly what I have to do to beat this guy and every how much time. of it was just here like or was it some things to every work time on I gym? fought this guy every time I fought last time I fought him I let him I let him breathe I let him I let him recover that's what that was my mistake. I, I, yeah, yeah. You let him recover, bro. Cause nah, you, you didn't just let him recover. He when he hit your ass, you couldn't like come back with nothing. Right, it's not that you let him recover. It was just you trying to battle it, duke it out with him. You can't duke it out with that machine, bro. I sure. I, I thought maybe when I get into the later rounds, I'll have the advantage, and that was the one mistake I made. And I own up to those mistakes, and I I, I address them, and I accept them. But this time, I was like, I'm not going to let him breathe. And he wasn't, he, was, he wasn't used to it. He wasn't used to me hunting him down. I told y'all, when I, in every sense of the word, go back to what I said, in every sense of the word, I'm going to hunt him down. And I, I hunted him down. And then when it was time, I set the trap. <laughs> I set the trap on him. And he thought like, oh, I see the holes in this game. But when you dive in that hole, you don't realize it's not a hole. It's a trap. And then you're in a genjutsu. You're stuck. You can't get out. And before you... So what happened? You're waking up to the lights. Show them the light. Your words were. So he try, He said he set a trap. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, it's it's good technique. I call it good technique, bro. Like he just seeing he couldn't duke it out with him, so he figured out other ways. He so he he basically saying the last fight he controlled the fight because he wanted it to go to the later rounds. This time he didn't want it to go to the later rounds. I like how he put that. That makes me feel like he's starting to tap in to how to beat this man. So it's like, can he win the third fight? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll stay tuned to find out. But, uh, man. It happens, bro. He sold me on a lot of money, but it is what it is. My shit still went green on one bet, so I'm not too mad about it. I'm going to show y'all before we get up out of here, though. Uh, yeah, you know. Had to hit that one. Bang. But, uh... We're gonna get him out of here, man. I can't believe how y'all feel it, man. And, uh, you see the light, man. They see you.
Turn. 